Good morning, friends. Welcome to the 5-Minute Crochet Podcast. So today, I'll get right into it. I have a photo here from Maureen, her wearing her shrug to her. The Remember, Maureen is the architect who built um, a new worship space for a community in Lexington, Kentucky, and she's a friend of mine, and she asked for a bolero shrug small sweater to wear over the top of her dress for the event which was this past Sunday. Anyway she sent me photos so she seemed really pleased. Can you see that there? She seemed really pleased and she said she got lots of compliments and the kind of red brick trim of the bolero um, matched the vestments of the officiant there so that's wonderful and so I can't wait to see even more photos so um, now that you've seen the shrug in action, you know, maybe uh, it's time to get to writing the pattern and teaching it on here. So I have my little list of things to teach on here, and that includes the pineapples that we've been talking about for um, a couple weeks, the shrug, which we've been talking about, the layered lavish scarf that we've been talking about. Um, was there something else in particular? That we, I probably should demonstrate the yarn over versus yarn under. Good morning, Carlene. Good morning. I hope, Carlene, that you're not waking up just for me, but I also, you know, know that you're on the West Coast, so I hope you're sleeping okay, because you should still be sleeping, sweetie. Okay, good morning, Linda. I want all of you guys to get good rest. It is so important for life and happiness and well-being. So if you're just now joining me, um, we, I, I was talking about that Maureen sent a photo of the shrug. So this is a sh the picture of her. I don't, hopefully you can see that well. Here's a picture of her with, um, the officiant at the, uh, ceremony at the opening of the worship space that she as an architect built and designed. So that is super cool way to go. A uh, really wonderful addition to the community to add um, happiness and community. Um, just, you know, we need more good things in life. We need more good things in life. And certainly people who get together for the purpose of higher good is, I'm all for it. Sleeping fine. You just get up when you get up. Okay, Carlene, good, good. I'm so glad to hear that. Um Sleep is so, so important to life, obviously, as I look really tired today. Didn't get around to the makeup today, but that's okay. Do it another day. I <laughs> got another chance tomorrow. Um, so uh, one of the things, as you guys know, I'm a mental health therapist also, and a lot of people have trouble sleeping. So one of the things that is really good for sleep at night is just to get good rest during the day. So... I hope that crocheting is a uh, relaxing and restful and fulfilling activity that you can get during the day so that you can sleep better at night. So especially if you can crochet without any like TV or videos or or whatever. So if you can use crochet as, you know, as a meditative, quiet activity, probably at least 10 minutes a day before you turn on um, social media or turn on a movie or turn on an audiobook or whatever you do while you're crocheting. And hey, maybe that's the question for the day. If you could put in the um, comments below, below, what do you do while you're crocheting? Do you watch TV? Do you listen to podcasts? Do you listen to audiobooks? Do you watch movies? Um, you used to be a transcriptionist at a sleep disorder center. Oh my goodness, Linda, I would love to pick your brain. <laughs> Um, but make sure you get about at least about 10 minutes a day of crocheting without any noise if you are having trouble sleeping at night. So if your brain gets enough rest during the day um, and gets enough quiet and time to process whatever or think through whatever, then it won't feel the need to wake you up in the middle of the night to say, hey, let's think about things. Um, because you've already done the thinking about things during the day. So hopefully um, you get good sleep and you make crochet a relaxing and valuable use of your time because 
It's good for your health too. It's good for your sleep. So um, leave podcasts and audiobooks, but often just crochet in a peaceful, prayerful silence. Excellent, Carlene. Absolutely. A lot of times I'll find myself listening um, to uh, podcasts or whatever, but then I zone out and I don't even really notice they're playing and I have to go back and rewind anyway. But uh, Linda, mostly I've got good success in helping my clients fall asleep. I don't always know the right thing to help them go back to sleep when they wake up in the middle of the night. And I know that can be caused by so many things. So I am working on, uh, you know, tips and tricks to help people relax and go back to sleep when they wake up prematurely in the middle of the night. So anyway, I will see you all tomorrow. Please leave in the comments below what activities you like to do while you're crocheting. But don't forget if you need good sleep to make sure you get at least 10 minutes of crocheting without uh, any noise. Take care, everybody. Bye.